Hey, kia ora. Helen Brahms here coming to you live from Sun City in Arizona. Hope you've all had a super fantastic sparkling tune-up Tuesday. So um, how has your tune-up Tuesday gone? What tune-ups did you make today? Did you make them in your business, in your personal life, or in some other area? Um, my tune-up Tuesday was I am fine-tuning um, this new software that I have um, gotten to help my business. So I mean, fine learning about that and fine tuning that did that a um, little bit on my lunch break. Unfortunately, I'm having to be dealing. I've been dealing with headaches all day. Um, still got this one. I've been doing my little trigger point thing here of massaging and pinching and all of that between here, but it's on both sides. So I got to do both sides because it goes right across the front here. I've been putting my essential oils on. I had even broken down and taken over the counter pain meds and it still seems to be persisting. Um, the only time it was quiet when it was when I, I took a quick power nap this afternoon, um, this um, during lunch today. So I did a quick power nap then, but um, I've stayed hydrated all day. I've been drinking copious amounts of water. It's like 17% humidity inside, outside, whatever the weather thing he says. So um, I have been drinking all my water, having an intake of that, even had some herbal tea, which is caffeine free. That was my lemon, ginger and honey herbal tea. Um, I'm starting to feel an ache coming into my ear, so I'm sort of like thinking, okay, we're going to have to go into um, defense mode, which is um, putting the cotton wool in there with a drop of melaleuca oil on each cotton wool and sticking it just over the inside of the ear there, of the opening of the ear, and downing 3,000 milligrams of vitamin C three times a day. And um, then tomorrow morning we should be right as rain. <laughs> it's usually what happens. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, didn't rec I could have done it earlier, but I was just, I don't know, getting stressed out on it and all of that sort of stuff. And um, I should have done it earlier. That's all on me because I did not do it earlier. Um, so I will be doing that probably before we go for a walk with Zeph. Uh, we'll do it when we get back. Um, yeah, while we have dinner. <laughs> so I'm on late today because my groceries were coming today. So I apologize for being on so late. But um, Zephy's sort of like giving me the eye like we have to go for a walk it's time for a walk so I'm not going to stay on very long today um, but apart from having the headaches I am one of those people that unless it is a crippling headache like a migraine or just bordering on a migraine then I will go and lay down and shut everything down um, if it's just um, one of those persistent headaches that's not at the migraine level or almost at that migraine level I will keep working I, I am <laughs> I am one that when I'm that if if I should if I feel unwell, um, I tend to get busy. <laughs> it, it used to annoy Brad knowing because he knew I wasn't feeling well, and he was like, "Would you just go lay down?" I was like, "I can't." He said, "What do you mean?" I says, "I lay down and I just I get um, jittery. I got to get up and do something." And he says, "But you know, you've got a cold, and you you know, one time, I had a cold and lost my voice one time." And he was sort of like, "Look." You're obviously not in any good shape. He says, look, what do you, what do you need done? I'll go. I says, no, it's okay. I'll go. And, he, and he learned to back off very quickly because he knew that if he kept pushing me, my um, my fuse at that time when I when I was sick was is very, very short. It doesn't take a lot to get me <laughs> going when I'm, feel, when I'm not feeling well. He learned very quickly, don't bug me. If she said she wants to do it, just let her do it and you'll be fine. And he learned that very quickly. Um, in the early days, not so much. And so, yes, there were some good arguments in those days over that one. He was trying to get me to go rest. I didn't want to rest. Um, it's just how I am. So I get up, I get moving and get things done. And that's what I've been doing today, getting a lot of stuff done today. Um, got work done for a client today. Um, got some stuff done on this new software that I am um, working on to get up and running for the business. Um, had a power nap in there and then got on the help chat and helped a bunch of people and um, also got my groceries done as well because they got delivered a few minutes ago they've already been all put away all the stuff in the freezer that goes in the freezer is in there you know I had to quickly reshuffle the freezer to get things in there they're in there because the way I was putting them in they were all just if I opened the door they would have come out to meet me it's like yeah that ain't gonna happen so um, now we're gonna go for WALK in like a hundred and something degree weather outside and come back and um, I've got some ice packs on the back of my neck, um, on the small on the small of my back, the back of my neck, and um, put my cotton wool ears, cotton wool with the melaleuca onto my ears, and um, take my vitamin C and just kick back and relax for a little bit. And I'll probably end up having an early night as well. Um, but that's okay. It's just 
part of the process and how it all gets done. And uh, But I know I'm tired because I'm rambling now. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, and Zephy is patiently waiting for her WA. Okay. I was going to answer a family tree research question tonight. I'm sorry. It's not going to happen tonight. Um, with how I'm feeling right now and I've still got to take the dog for a walk in the 100 degree weather so actually the the um, sun is down so it should be below 100 right now but it'll still be hot um, so you will put the hair up and get off the back of the neck and all that sort of thing too and uh, go for our go for our walk and it'll be a, a short walk tonight for her um, yeah she'll probably try and pull me around longer we'll see we'll see we'll see who wins that battle Depends on how I feel out there because it was quite toasty when I opened up the door to get all the groceries inside. But anyway, go have a super fantastic sparkling evening. If you have a family tree research question, please private message it to me and we will answer it um, on one of our lives, either an evening live or a morning live. You never know when it's going to pop up. But um, go out, have a super fantastic sparkling rest of your Tune Up Tuesday. I'm going to go take a walk and then we will catch you back here, excuse me, bright and early tomorrow morning for Winning Wednesday. Hey, Conrad.